skull and crossbones, and we come to a, another level which actually is my favorite level in the entire game. It is the train level. Uh, what is it called? I don't even know. Bury my heart at Wounded Knee, 1885. We are jump skipping like crazy. And it's got one of the best tunes in the entire game. Awesome. But yeah, this, this was just... When I played this in the arcade game, I remember my dad used to have a card shop at uh, Birdcage in Sacramento, if anybody remembers that. Holler. But uh, there was an arcade near, uh, near a restaurant called Kelly's Place. And in the arcade, uh, Turtles in Time was actually one of the games that you could play there during the 1990s when I was still a young kid growing up. And I would always ask my dad, can I have quarters, can I have quarters, can I have quarters from his like till and everything. And he would like, give me quarters and I'd go over there and I'd go play this game over and over and over and over and over and over. But this was literally the farthest I could ever get in the, in the arcade game. I could never get past this level. So it, it has a lot of fond memories for me, not just because of, you know, played in the arcade during during my formulative years, but also because, you know, when I finally beat this level for the first time, when I finally got the, Ar the Super Nintendo version, I finally found out what lay beyond this level. <laughs> so, this level is memorable, memorable to me in a lot of ways. But that is just fun. It's just a fun, crazy level, and what makes it even more ridiculous and just endearing is that, you know, you get these foot soldiers running on horseback on the side of the train and then they just pop up on the train. You know, just little details like that, it just makes you laugh. I mean, you can't take this game seriously. It's, it's just not it's just not a serious game. <laughs> it's just for fun, and that's exactly what it should be. Just for fun. And the fact that you complete it within a half hour is just great. I, I, love, I love short games like this where, you know, you just want to beat something up, right? You know, not real people, of course. That's bad. That's bad, everybody. Don't do that. But if you want to just get out some, let loose some steam, some anger, you can just pop this game in for a half hour and just beat it, you know? It's very quick, very simple. It was a good stress reliever. It was, it, it was awesome. It had, uh, yeah, and you want to wait until all the, the soldiers are on the screen before you set that thing off. Because that will destroy everything on screen, except you, thankfully. Alright. I mean, literally their worst attack, I think, these these, sol these rock soldiers, is their charge. If you can avoid their charge, and kind of, look, see, I'm kind of cheesing a little bit. If you can get them off screen and just attack them before they come back on screen, they'll never have a chance to attack you. Yeah, it's cheap, but, you know, I'm going for a no-death run, gosh darn it. I'm going to use every available tactic to me. And the boss is Leatherhead. I honestly think he is the easiest boss in the entire game. He gives you plenty of time to maneuver and move, and see, once he gets on the ground, he has so big of a pause that you, you can just avoid him completely as he r runs across the, the screen. And then he has two ways of attacking. He either throws a lobster at you, of all things, if you try and get close, tries to swing you with his tail, but if you jump and attack from above, that swing will never hit you. Or he'll go up and down the screen throwing knives. I mean, this is... This is all he does, and you can go through without getting in a, getting a single hit. So, I mean, that's, that's how easy this boss is. But at the time, he was so hard for me when I was so young playing him in the arcade game that I couldn't, I couldn't get past him, I couldn't beat him. But now I can look back and see his AI pattern, and now I can just smack myself in the head and say, Why did I not beat this before? <laughs> awesome level, awesome music. Now to the future, everybody. See you later.